Gamers, Snowclaw here, and it's time to get serious. AJHQ is a bunch of nerds. How do I know this? It's a pretty serious allegation after all. Resources include my lovely friend, Empty Gold, and many of you helpful jammers on my Instagram page, and my very nerdy knowledge since I am a 100% nerd, so here we go. Nerdy game references. I'm pretty sure many of you have spotted these ones. So, we go over here to games. Hmm, let's see what the hedgehog is all about. Wow, this looks exactly like Pac-Man. So, point one. We also have Fruit Slinger. And what does Fruit Slinger look like? We sling fruit at phantoms. Hmm, angry birds, yeah? And then, Swoopy Eagle. We all know a flappy bird when we see one. And then, there's over here in the den shop and diamond shop, we have... What is this? Oh, a pixel place? Hmm, Minecraft? No, yeah, yeah, it's Minecraft. That's definitely Minecraft. I've noticed a lot of things going on with the pet names. So let's check this out. We got, we got, here we go. Um, Grumpy Cat? AJHQ doesn't have a terribly extensive name list. So I think this adjective is in there for a reason. And look. It's so grumpy, the grumpy cat. And now all you fans of Garfield out there, if you look right over here, we have a pookie bear. And now from what I can tell, pookie is not a word. So I, I'm, I'm a little suspicious about why there's a pookie available in the pet names. So you can doubt the grumpy cat, but pookie bear, it's pretty obvious. We've got a Garfield fan up in AJHQ. Now along the same line of pets, there's also this adorable penguin. Look at that, it has a little star on his belly. Hmm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm also a Dr. Seuss fan and I can't help but seeing star-bellied sneetches every single time I see a star-bellied penguin. Now let's move on to a little less subtle of a reference. Ponies. Yeah, you, you all know it. Ponies. Ponies. Look at all the ponies. Let, how about first, let's make a rainbow dash. Here, let's, I'm sure it's very difficult to make a rainbow dash. Here we go. Darn, that sure was tough. Now we have a little rainbow dash pony. Hmm, let's make a twilight sparkle. Okay, I think we have an alicorn going on here with the purple hair, with the tricolors. I think we have to all agree here that this is definitely a My Little Pony reference. I can't see how you could get around it. There are so many more references among the pets. This little bunny can take on some pretty sharp teeth right there, and I can't help wondering if that's a reference to the classic bunny Dracula book, Bunicula. I hear the meerkat seems to have an affinity for deerstalker hats, much like a certain finely cheekboned detective you may have heard of. And the Sherlock references don't stop there either. Deerstalker hats make an appearance as clothing items too. Investigator's hat, hmm? What investigator also wears deerstalker hats? Hmm. That's tough. That's real tough. I don't, I can't think of one. <laughs> and you can also pair it with a lovely button up coat which is quite British, if I don't say it for myself. I feel wearing it on my deer might be a bit ironic though. Sherlock may not be a very big fan of Ninja Mob, but what about Disney? Over here in Serapia Forest, in the movie theater shop, we actually have what seems to be a movie wall projection but I mean, look at that little animation. That suspiciously resembles the old Mickey Mouse style, complete with the red curtains and that white glove. Hmm. And there is no end of Frozen references. Oh my goodness, you guys. The Ice Palace for one, and over in the clothing of the diamond shop, we even have the lovely princess dress which comes in a beautiful icy blue, which came out suspiciously around the time of the French braid, which comes in a bright white. I think my lemur makes a pretty good princess too. And Firefly fans, any of you guys out there, if you wander up to this part of Jamal during the Jamaliday seasons, you can spot a secret hat on one of these posts that's never been sold in stores. And if you reference the lovely Firefly character wearing a lovely pom-pom 
hat, you'll see that there's quite a resemblance going on there. I must say I'd like to see it in storage as it's quite the shiny headpiece. <laughs> so cartoon cat fans, I hope you guys have noticed the bread hat that's available in Jama. There's a suspicious event where an Instagrammer told HHQ that they should make a bread hat and then this came out, which makes this a great pushing cat friend. I call him Catloaf and he is my Catloaf and I love him very much. Let's see. Now Whovians, this game is a gold mine of references. We can start with the obvious fez hat, which my lemur is sporting right here. But have you seen the science party? Oh my goodness, here we go. Let's super science zone this place. Here we go, and we're just wandering around the science party. Oh, love, look at those lovely coats, and there's some cell. And then we go over here, and... Hmm... I wonder who that is? No nerdy glasses? No lab coat? Wait a second. It's a fox wearing a fez and a tweed suit with a bow tie and converse. Hmm. I could rest my case here, but let's Alonzi over to Jam Mart Furniture. Where we find in the store, oh my, a fancy fireplace. Looks very French inspired, right? Well, it's not just any fireplace. We have the pretty fire animation going on, but what's with this very specialized clock on top? Let's look a little closer, shall we? Oh my, those cracks. There's cracks in the clock face. Hmm, wonder what that could be a reference to. Now, Jammers, I'm sure there are plenty more nerdy references hanging out around Jama, and I would love to hear if you guys have spotted any of your own, but I'm going to rest my case, and let me know if you think AJHQ is a bunch of nerds as well, because I think I have some pretty good evidence in this video. <laughs> Now, I'm thinking of making more nerdy stuff because I'm a total nerd and I'm a fan of so many fandoms. So I was thinking like a Steven Universe episode and a Doctor Who Animal Jam episode. Talk about outfits and ways you can make the game a little more nerdy. And you guys should let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe if you want to. But let me know what fandoms I should talk about next. <laughs> Okay, Jammers, I'm gonna hopefully do a video a week. I know it's not a lot, but I have a busy school schedule. So be sure to stop by every weekend for a new video from me. And let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. Happy jamming!